Starting the K2 Designer brings us to Visual Studio 2010 IDE, where we can see that K2 is provided as an extension manager. Starting a new project will provide us access to several K2 project types. We'll focus on the K2 workflow project for this video and create a new sales demo project. We'll use an existing new customer process to get us started and then an email event from the integrated toolbox to the approved route from CEO approval step. This initiates a WPF based wizard that allows us to quickly configure this step in the workflow. We configured the required fields for the event name, the from field, the recipient, and finally we'll add a subject. We'll continue on to construct the body of the email. Here you'll see that we can make use of something called K2 field parts to construct a message. K2 field parts, such as the originator of the process and the customer name from the process request form, are evaluated at runtime based on the instance data for that workflow. We'll continue on to the finish page where we can utilize the thumbnails to review our work before finishing the wizard. We can use the process design canvas to move this step around, edit the name, basically provide better readability, and we'll attach this step to the approve line from the CEO approval step. At this point, we have a complete new customer K2 process. Behind the scenes, the email wizard is creating a dubf schedule with .NET code, which we are now drilling into. We will locate the code that sends the email message and add a snippet illustrating how you could utilize the new .NET 4 coding features such as named and optional parameters and dynamic support. K2 integrates with the underlying Visual Studio project and build system to execute build and deploy functionality. We can review the output window to see the fully extensible MS build task performed by K2 as well as the deployment status. Once our project is deployed and running, we can then utilize the integrated debugging K2 provides by attaching to the K2 host server process. Note that we are attaching to a managed.NET 4 code. We'll use a new pinning feature of data tips to add watch on our email subject. This data tip, including the comment, We'll then decorate our source code. Finally, when we step through the runtime, we see that the data tip will be updated as expected.